Hey guys, Granny here. I just made a little video about my first delve into the upgrade. I've blacked out the Atlas because something happens to it and I didn't want to uh, give any spoilers unless you want a spoiler, which is at the end of the video or well, near to the end. So that's up to you. I decided seeing as the update hadn't dropped at the time of making the video, to start on the Atlas Eternal mission. And so far it's looking really great. I'll be making the next part to this. Firstly though, before we delve into that, just very quickly have a quick look at the space anomaly. And you'll see here, there it is. Yes, I got a bit a bit lost but never mind you can see there it looks pretty fantastic doesn't it yes it really does and I think this is a really great idea I don't know what's going to happen whether there's going to be an opportunity to be able to do the old missions at any time that could come we don't know that's what many of us in the community wanted to see happen but at the moment though at the time of making this video, not long ago, there was no active expedition. So it's a bit of a tease, isn't it, guys? We've been waiting a while for this expedition. Not to worry, it'll happen. There are lots of things we can still be doing. I noticed there was this symbol that I hadn't seen before, and it said phase rewards. So I don't know, has that symbol been there before or am I starting to imagine things? I have no idea. I've played this game for 2300 hours or something, so you'd think I'd kind of know that. Anyway, there you go. I've been a bit obsessed with this game. It's the only game I've ever played for that amount of time. So let's go and check out the Atlas Eternal mission. The Crimson Web. I've followed the Atlas across the galaxy, tracing the links between every interface and every seed, and yet I'm still not free of the crimson light that lurks ever present at the edges of my vision. The objectives are to show the Atlas wonders that you've got in your wonders catalogue, and we've probably all got wonders in our wonders catalogue. But anyway, you don't need to go and discover things in particular for this they're already in your wonders catalogue that's what i'm trying to say following the galactic map it took about five jumps to get to the first atlas interface nothing much had really changed at this point it was all pretty normal i interacted with it and he's created infinite stars and infinite worlds and infinite life. I cannot see them all nor even truly begin to understand the multitude of existence. But even among these endless wonders, each moment can still have meaning. Any atom may seed a new universe if viewed the right way. Interesting. I present the Atlas what I discovered about the planet of Gusso Tau. It shudders in response as the fabric of space-time were to sigh. Somewhere out in the beyond a new star is born, seeded by what I have seen. And I've learnt a new word, and I can learn lots of new words if I run around and get these little lights that are on the ground. And it's surprising how many people don't know about that. So I've left it in the video. Let's skedaddle and see what's happening at the next Atlas interface. This time it was only a couple of jumps away. So that was cool. There it is. And I flew in. Oh, it's a bit fumy in there. I was really surprised when I saw this. I was like, wow, that's something new. And it looks so cool look at it it's very interesting isn't it i had the same interaction again and gave it things from my wonders catalog and i've got to go and find another atlas interface now and i'm wondering what is going to happen 
and I will be doing it right away as soon as I put this video up. I'm really excited to see if it changes again now. I have no idea. I haven't watched any of the videos in experimental mode because I wanted to enjoy the surprises it might offer, which this one's a good one. So anyway, by the time I get this video out, everybody will probably know about it and there'll be videos everywhere of it because it takes me ages to edit things. I'll see you in the next video where I'm going to continue this mission, especially if the Omega expedition hasn't started yet. It probably has by the time I finish uploading this. Anyway, see you later, guys. Have fun.